You see here the starting point of the software 4.2. What's new about it is that we can do now abutment and share side. That means directly with a patient in only one session. First of all, I would like to show to you how you can reconstruct a full anatomical crown directly in the patient's mouth and with the Omnican absolutely powder-free and colorful video screening. So you just say which tooth you'd like to restore. In our case, it's tooth number 2.26. You select the material and there you see all the manufacturers which offer some materials for our CEREX system. In our case, we choose the polychrome block from Zerona. Select with OK and always going one step next with the double arrows there. And here we are already in the acquisition mode. You see it's lighted up at the face bar above and you see directly here on the left window the live screen. We make a video with the Omnicam and we just start directly on the occlusion. That means we start from distal, going mesial from occlusal, first scanning four or five teeth, then turning the whole camera up to 90 degrees to really receive every area which are available for that. Just turning the camera and you see how really fast and easy it goes. If there are still some areas missing, like here, from approximal, we just go over and start screening also those areas. So now we need an also an information for the buccal scan, that means how they both belong together. We make a buccal scan, just open the buccal window there. And also making a video of the buccal area which is possible and which is necessary here. Lasts only about five seconds and so it's quite easy to do and also quite easy for the patient. Okay, and now fixed the preparation line already. You see it here with a blue line, that's the preparation. And I define the insertion axis just in regard that we have every information of the preparation. Clicking OK to agree. And there what we see there is the biogeneric. Biogeneric is a tool where the software recognizes the surfaces of the neighbor teeth and therefore you will get always a first proposal that belongs to the others, I would say. So you'll always have the nearly the same surface. You see the depth of the fissure is the same. Also the buccal information there. So the great advantage is that you don't really have to change something. The first proposal really is nearly the best you can get. Okay, that's the final crown and now we can send it directly to the milling machine. We just calculate the milk preview and there we see the polychrome block already with a crown inside. So let's start with the milling process. First of all we have to insert the CEREC block. In this case it's a CEREC block PC, the polychrome one. I open the door, insert the block and with a screwdriver I can just put in the block, close the door and start the milling process. In the beginning of the milling process, the burrs just check whether the block is really in the right position and um, it controls you that you really um, insert the right block with the right position and the, and the right side. And now the burrs start milling the restoration, the crown in our case. The water is to cooling the burrs. The milling process lasts about 10 minutes, always depends on the material, one minute more or less. After the milling process you will receive a crown like this and you can make the decision whether you would like to just polish it with diamond paste or whatever or really glaze it in a ceramic oven.